So here we are at the beginning of our practice. And in order to begin, I'm gonna ask first to, to find a comfortable seated position. Uh, Stira su casa, no? To which the seated bones are really on the floor, keeping and sustaining our body. And we're gonna enter the practice taking Bhumi Spasha Mudra, which is a really simple mudra, bringing our left hand on the heart and our right hand on the floor. Just allowing to come here present. Maybe you can close your eyes with me and allow this powerful mudra to unroot yourself to this present moment. Maybe you can bring your attention to your breath that is coming and flowing effortlessly. And slowly direct that breath in the center of your heart, feeling the heartbeat below behind your hand and feeling how this mudra disposition is enrooting you. Maybe imagining that you can actually perceive the heartbeat of the earth below your right hand. And feeling stable and continue to bring the attention on your breath that is expanding your chest, your heart. Connecting with the intention of this practice, which is to simply create a little bit more of space within the heart in order to open its windows, its wings, and fly connected with a source of, of joy and love that nourishes that flower, that resides and flourish within everyone, each heart, holding the flourishing of a unique flower and just as every flower in the world there is no flower like yours so connect with this unique nature of you and simply maybe find a smile within your heart Feeling your breath expanding your chest and connecting with the earth below. And from here, slowly, I'm gonna ask you to open the eyes and slowly release the mudra. We're gonna enter into the circle of joy. So I'm going to ask you to interlace your fingers in front of you, bringing your hands together. We're going to inhale, arching the back, looking forward, bringing our chest forward, filling our chest with air. And we're going to exhale, bringing our arms forward with the palms facing in front of us, bringing our chin to the chest, exhaling and expanding through the shoulder blades. And then inhale, coming up, bringing the hands, the arms up, the palms facing upwards. Exhale, staying here, the ears away of the shoulders that are slightly rolling back. And here again, we're gonna take a big inhale, extending, lengthening the spine. And we're gonna exhale, bending on the left, filling the expansion on the right side. And here again, inhale through your psoas and exhale, coming back to the center. 
inhale extending your spine exhale bending on the right feeling all the left side now expanding exhale and here again inhale and exhale coming back to the center inhale looking up to your hands exhale releasing your arms on the side interlacing your fingers on the back and pushing backwards with your hands while your chest is expanding inhale looking forward exhale coming down bending forward your hands are going up and again inhale coming up exhale release your fingers and then we're gonna go through this circle once more again inhale bring your hands together your chest forward arching exhale looking at your heart expanding through your shoulder blades they are opening empty 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 and then inhale rising up your arms exhale release your shoulders rolling back inhale once more lengthening the spine exhale coming to the left side bending inhale here exhale coming back to the center inhale lengthening towards the sky exhale coming on the right side feeling all the left side nourishing nourished by oxygen inhale and then exhale coming back to the center once more inhale up lifting your chest up to the sky and then exhale releasing your arms on the side interlace your fingers on the back and again inhale arch and lifting your chest while you push with your hands behind looking up to the sky exhale folding forward bringing your hands up over your head and here again inhale coming up exhale release your hands from here we're gonna step in one simple kriya which is called aham prema kriya a really simple kriya that is connecting us with that source of love that is always open for ourselves aham prema means i am love and we're gonna chant this mantra while we're gonna interlace our fingers and bringing our hands up above our heads the elbows the arms are quite relaxed in this position and we're gonna run around our pelvis feeling like there is a center in the middle of our pelvis from which we are, we are just gonna rotate in circle so we're gonna inhale rounding and chanting aham Exhale, chanting prema on the back. Inhale, aham. Exhale, prema. And if you feel at ease, you can close your eyes and continue with me. Inhale, aham, prema. Aham, prema. Aham, prema. Aham prema 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 Aham stop at the center now inhale raising up your arms opening them as receiving a rain full of love and then exhale coming down making the back of your hand unite and liquoring in front of you as a waterfall that is falling full of light and love until the back of your hands is just coming and resting on your thighs with the finger fingertips that are slightly the 
facing together close to each other in Pushpa Puta Mudra, which actually means a handful of flowers. And just stay here for a breath or two, listening. Maybe receiving the first gift of life, which is the breath that is coming as a gift, nourishing your heart. slowly open your eyes if you have them closed, release your mudra and we're gonna bring ourselves into Bitilasana, the four leg position, the table pose, with our hands aligned with the shoulders, the knees aligned with the hips and we're gonna take a moment in here to feel again our rooted into the earth, feeling the force of gravity that is anchoring us and um, just gonna take a moment to connect with the body and maybe make some spontaneous movement even just a swing from left to right entering in a sahaja movement a spontaneous moment with your body maybe releasing your neck and all its weight and here maybe making some yes and no with your head connecting with all of those yes and no that sometimes are just connecting you with the self-love when you allow yourself to say for example a no or a yes to life and from here we're gonna slowly walk our hands forward, coming into Anahata Asana, the puppy pose. So we're gonna slowly walk forward with our hands, keeping the hips over our knees high, and just slowly coming, melting our chest to the floor. Here we can choose to keep our chi on the floor or just come down with our forehead and connect again with our breath feeling how with each exhale the heart is melting a little bit more in the ground and with each inhale we create a little bit of more of space within the shoulders within the chest one more deep inhale here with me and with the exhale just bring yourself forward coming on your elbows and from here release your legs feeling anchored to the pelvic floor and from here we're gonna walk our hands again forward really extending our arms keeping your forehead on the floor and here we're gonna inhale pressing with our fingertips on the floor inhale looking up lifting a little bit the upper chest and then exhale coming down and walking a little bit more towards us the fingertips the hands a little bit more closer to the mat and here again inhale pressing down into the fingertips maybe keeping the elbows a little bit bended and lifting the upper chest offering our heart to this present moment and then again exhale coming down bringing our hands on the left and right side of the mat just at the top of it and again with our front head on the floor Starting from there, inhale, coming up, pressing into our fingertips. The elbows are still bended. We're going to lift the chest a little bit more. Exhale, coming back down. And now we're going to move into the cobra pose, placing our hands under our shoulders with the elbows slightly tight to our rib cage, hugging them while we press down 
and we lift our chest, our upper part of the body looking up and slowly pressing down into the hands, extending the arms, breathing through the pelvic floor that is anchoring us, continuing to hug our ribcage with the elbows and exhale coming down with your forehead on the floor now from here we're gonna come back into Bhitirasana pressing down into your hands activating your thighs and coming back your hands under your shoulders your knees under your hips and from here feeling really anchored we're gonna make some movements of the spine so we're gonna press press down into your right hand while you inhale and lift your left arm up to the sky opening the left wing of your heart and then exhale and bringing it under the right arm until almost touching with the left shoulder on the floor and then you come back inhale opening your wing up to the sky expanding your chest exhale coming down training your left arm under your right one and once more inhale open the left arm up to the sky opening the left window of your heart exhale bringing it down under your right shoulder and then coming back to the center we're gonna move towards the other direction so press into the left hand while you inhale and raise your right arm up to the sky, opening to the right side. Exhale, coming down, bringing your right arm under your left one, almost until the shoulder touches the floor, and then again, coming back, inhale, lifting your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, coming down. Once more, inhale, open that right wing exhale coming back home under the left arm and then back to the center from here we're gonna sit a little bit into balasana the child pose sitting with our hips on the on the heels and walking our hands extending as long as we can our arms and then from here placing our forehead on the floor and remain here for a couple of breaths feeling how when you inhale you truly breath through your shoulders creating more and more space and maybe exhaling with a sound now releasing the tension, feeling how you inhale, expanding your shoulders, and while you exhale, your heart is melting to the ground. Once more, inhale, and then exhale, coming up to the table pose again. And here, tuck your toes under, we're gonna come into downward facing dog, maybe placing your hands a little bit forward of your shoulders and pushing down forward into your hands while your hips are going back up lengthening your spine keeping your knees bended as far as the spine is getting lengthening until the arms are fully extended your hips keep moving up backward Wrapping your belly with the navel back to the spine and just taking a few breaths in in this position to the downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Your gaze can face the toes of the feet and keep feeling the stability, your arms really, really strong on the floor, pushing down and forward, lengthening your spine with the hips that are moving up backwards. Hmm. Maybe taking a big inhale and with the 
exhale, allowing yourself a big sound of releasing. And then from here on the exhale, walk your feet in front of you until you reach the hands, keeping your knees bended. And we're gonna enter into a small dance of the heart through which we're gonna simply place our right hand on the floor bending our right knee right right hand on the floor bending our right knee and we're gonna inhale opening our left wing up to the sky again getting ready for our flight and then exhale bringing our left hand on the floor, left knee is bending, right leg is extending, right arm is rising up to the sky, inhale, exhale, placing your right hand down, again inhale, bending your right knee, left leg is extending, left arm is coming up to the sky, exhale, coming down, Inhale, again on the opposite direction, left knee is bending, right arm is opening to the side. And exhale, coming simply down, bending both of your knees here, coming on the fingertips of your hands. Release the weight of your head for a moment and then keep keeping bended your knees. Just allow yourself to come with the chest forward, inhale, coming and lifting yourself a little bit up, pressing down into your fingertips, and then exhale, coming down. Two more times this way, press into your feet, into your fingertips, lifting your chest up, inhaling, exhale, coming down. One more time, inhale, lift your chest up, press down into your hands, into your fingertips, feeling how your back hips are expanding and then release, coming back to the center. Release the weight of your neck for a moment in here. And then slowly inhale, extend your legs, lift halfway. Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, fold back Uttanasana, inhale, bend your knees, lift yourself up from your hips, <sighs> lifting your arms as well up to the sky, exhale, releasing them on the side. Take a moment to feel yourself in this different position feeling the force of gravity acting while you are in, in a standing position and from here bending your knees a little bit, inhale, bring your arms up forward, exhale and bend from your hips down to the floor, inhale halfway Uttanasana, exhale, bring your left leg behind yourself Bending the right knee, release the left knee on the floor, release the neck of your foot. And here, make sure that your ankle is aligned with your knee. We're gonna enter into Anjaneyasana, the low lunge position. So, in here, take a deep breath in, feeling you anchored on the floor, feeling the stability through the right leg, the right feet, through the left knee on the floor. Keep your hips low and level with each other. And as you inhale, engage your lower belly and lift your chest away from your thigh, sweeping the arms up. And exhale, bringing them on the side, interlace your fingers on the back. And while you push down with your hands, allow your chest to open more and lift a little bit to the sky. Keep your gaze in front of you. 
and to stay here for a couple of breaths connecting with the grace of your flower that is finding the strength in the heart to flourish and taking one more deep inhale and then exhale release your hands bringing them forward inhale here lift your left knee off the floor bring your right leg on the back in plank position and here exhale and take another big inhale in here and as you exhale bring first your knees then your chest then your chin into ashtangasana for then release one leg at a time coming on your belly bring your left with your hands under your shoulders inhale lifting your chest lifting your upper body up bringing your elbows next to your rib cage in bhujangasana the cobra pose exhale coming down to the floor inhale feel your knees your thighs activated push into your hands to come into table pose exhale in here and again tuck your toes inhale push down forward to lift yourself into downward facing dog your knees are still bended extend your arms lengthening all your spine while your hips are going up backwards the knees still really bending in here feeling all the stability through the fingers of your feet which are your roots and the fingers of your hands deep anchored on the earth you take a big inhale feeling your heart softening on the exhale and then again take a big inhale and bring on the exhale your left leg in front of you between your hands release your right knee on the floor release the right neck of the feet and again make sure your heel is aligned with the knee in front of you on the front leg feeling the stability of this position finding your anchoring moment in here and just as a rocket that is finding that propulsion by being so anchored on the earth once you feel stable inhale and lift your chest over your thigh lifting your arms up to the sky feeling the stability of this position pressing into the left feet inhale and then exhale release the hands on the side interlace your fingers behind and again inhale pushing with your hands down backwards while the chest is expanding your gaze is in front of you stay here for a couple of breaths keeping your hips square and feel how your right hip is somehow pushing forward while your left hip is pushing backwards finding the center in the middle one more deep inhale and then while you exhale release your hands bring your bring them in front of you tuck your back foot lift your back knee and then bring your left leg behind in plank pose inhale here and then exhale bring yourself down in any kind of way you wish release your legs once at a time lengthening them in order to release any tension on the lower back and then bring your hands under your shoulders your forehead on the floor take one inhale in here and one deep exhale 
And then again, press into your hands, take a big inhale while you lift your chest, lengthening your arms into Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Inhale, your elbows hugging you at the ribcage. And then exhale, coming again down. Bring now your elbows under your shoulders placing your forearms form arm, on the floor, your hands open with all the fingers spread, feeling rooted through the, rooted through the pelvic floor. And we're gonna enter here into the sphinx pose. So we're gonna roll our shoulders a little bit back from the neck and the shoulder blades, they are sliding down the back of the spine and we're gonna feel a gentle lift of the breast bones as we guide our breath towards the lower back and the abdomen feeling here graceful maybe starting to feel like the queen flower of your heart Each one of us is living in a unique kingdom, the kingdom of our own heart. And by opening and making space, we allow ourselves to come back to that kingdom of ours. And keep connecting here with your breath for one more breath. And then on the next exhale, just bring yourself down, bring your hands under your shoulders, activate your knees, your thighs, pull down into your hands and come up, slowly walking your hands towards yourself and sitting, sitting your hips on the heels. Here I invite you maybe to tuck your toes and allow yourself to sit on the metatarsial bones while we're gonna enter into the second kriya of this practice which is called Mridanga Kriya and it's really simple we're actually just gonna take our hands and with our fingers start to make little hits really gentle and soft but precise Hitting in the center of our chest in this area like playing a drum. Muridanga actually means a drum. So we can connect with the heartbeat and, uh, and to the music that is playing, allowing this gentle Kriya to release any kind of notes that may have been creating inside. <coughs> Sorry. And just bringing our breath right there in the middle of the chest. Sometimes it may be natural to feel the need for a big inhale and a big exhale as, as to let go simply of what it is. Keeping moving maybe imagining that this way we are giving force to that seed of life that resides within our heart and from which every spring, like everything in nature, our flower, our, <laughs> our flower is just flourishing in an endless way. And then slowly stop in the middle, bring your left hand on the chest, your right hand on the left hand and just slowly make a few circles to the left connecting maybe if you feel like closing your eyes for a moment just bringing a little bit of kindness sweetness and care and love And 
and then slowly we're gonna stop in the middle open our eyes if they were closed release the mudra and the hands sorry and then just gonna move uh, we're gonna move into the next position so we're gonna stand right up on our knees with the knees that are about hip width distance apart and we're gonna move towards Ustrasana maybe releasing a little bit our, our feet that have been a little bit putting on challenge to this position the metatarsal bones are really connected with the nervous system so this way we allow it to release some more tensions and then right up on our knees we're gonna move towards Ustrasana, the camel pose so we're gonna bring our, our hands on the back on the, on the back pocket of our, of our legs <laughs> and um, we're gonna start to press the hands into the lower back to begin to lift the chest so we're gonna inhale and as you are ready we're just gonna lift so much through the chest that maybe your eyes are gonna be able to face the ceiling and slowly inhale feel how you push forward and your chest is lifting up coming backwards and if you feel at ease, you can bring your left hand on your left ankle, your left heel, and your right hand on the right heel. And maybe bring your head back or just decide to look forward with your head and just feeling, connecting with your breath, how you can glide a little bit forward with your pelvic floor allowing your chest to open a little bit more and connect with with the rays of the sun just like the flowers that are receiving its warmth and light imagine it warming your heart warming the flower that resides within your garden nourishing it and expanding it and then slowly we're going to place our hands back to our lower back once at a time and slowly come out of the posture really slowly and then allow ourselves to sit again with our hips on the heels and take maybe again the Pushpa Buddha Mudra with the back of your hands that are resting on your thigh in this gesture of receiving and listening just listening through your breath Maybe you can feel the perfume of the flowers in your hands. The perfume of your heart. And now take a big inhale and while you exhale, release the mudra release the position coming forward into the table pose Vitilasana again with your hands under your shoulders your knees under your hips and again maybe allowing yourself to move a little bit into an instinctive way in Sahaja which was spontaneous movement maybe releasing the weight of your head connecting again with the opportunity of saying yes to life and the opportunity to say no and set some safe boundaries and then slowly from here 
we're gonna move again into downward facing dog so i'm gonna ask you to tuck your toes press down forward into your hands inhale and while you inhale press down forward while you start to lift your hips up backwards keep your knees still banded until all your spine is completely lengthened your gaze facing maybe either the center of the mat or if you can and wish your toes your arms are really extended and connect here with your breath maybe slowly allowing yourself to walk a little bit this dog getting with your heels next to the mat and if you wish you can lower both of your heels into the complete Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pressing down forward into your hands, feeling them really, really strong and your heart really, really soft. Your hips moving up and backwards, your hands pushing down forward, lengthening all your spine. take a deep breath in here maybe releasing with a big sound and then on the next exhale bring your hands towards your feet walking towards the back of your mat and here inhale halfway lifting you halfway in Ardha Uttanasana exhale bending forward Uttanasana inhale start lifting from your hips up to the sky lifting your hands your arms as well following and then exhale and imagine as if you were a flower that is just opening and flourishing while the arms are falling on the side and here again we're going to enter into the second dance of the heart really simple one with a with the, with the feet at hip distance and uh, knees a little bit slightly bended feeling really unrooted feeling like if from our feet deep really strong roots were getting and flowing down to the heart of the earth anchoring us and then from here pushing down into into our feet we're gonna inhale bring our arms forward exhale expand open the arms to the side expand expand release release empty 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 and then inhale bring your arms up to the sky exhale keep your knees bent and just release all your weight over yourself oh, maybe with a sound and then again inhale forward exhale to the side open inhale up 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 exhale down ah. one more time inhale hands in front of you exhale the wings are spreading to the side the heart is almost ready to fly inhale bringing the arms all over your head exhale release and allow yourself to stay here a little bit and just with your knees still bended maybe grab your left elbow with your right hand your right elbow with your left hand release all the weight of the neck of the head and maybe swing a little bit from one side to the other just completely allowing yourself to let go and surrender to this force of gravity that is swinging you just like an eagle in the air just letting yourself go and then slide it slowly Stop to the center, bring your hands down. Inhale, lift yourself halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, coming down. 
inhale lifting from your hips uplifting your arms up to the sky exhale release them on the side inhale lifting your arms up to the sky exhale coming down bending from your hips inhale lift halfway exhale come into plank position inhaling here and exhale coming down on your belly in any way you wish release your legs and here with your hands placed under your shoulder inhale extend lift your chest up in Bhujangasana exhale press into your knees your thighs and come into your child pose maybe opening the knees a little bit on the side and allow your hips to sit on the heels coming forward with your hands and here again leave your forehead on the floor and walk with your with your hands extending as much as you can the arms and breathing again through your shoulders and as you breathe in through your shoulders the forehead is pressing on the floor feel them expanding nourished by oxygen and while you exhale your heart is melting to the floor like bee under the sun like butter under the sun and once again inhale with me deeply and then exhale release your hands as well everything is released place your hands with the palms facing up while your forehead is still resting on the floor and just stay here for a couple of breaths in this gesture of receiveness of receptivity and openness connecting with your breath maybe feeling your heartbeat imagining your arms as an extension of your heart as the long branches of your heart they are just extending and asking for the sunrise for the joy and love receiving taking one more deep inhale and then slowly coming back into table pose crossing your legs behind coming into seated position and from here we're gonna bring our feet together in front of us with the legs banded as in the butterfly position we're gonna take our index and middle finger of both hands and just grab our toes getting ready maybe first placing ourselves our sitting bones really stable on the floor feeling stable and then grabbing our toes with our fingers and preparing ourselves to enter into Merudandasana so maybe we can start lifting the left leg and then place it down try with the right leg a little bit and then place it down and again lift the left leg and then activate your abdomen by drawing up in your belly button to the spine lift your right leg as well feel this activation into your belly feel strong feel your spine lengthen and long and from here while you inhale you can start exploring the space maybe lengthening and opening to the side first the left leg and then the right leg until you are in complete merudandasana Feel the activation into your belly button, into the abdomen. Your spine is long and strong. And maybe you can imagine that from one side to the other, 
there's a rainbow raising and just meeting in the center of your heart and lightening it with joy and colors taking a big inhale in here <sighs> exhale and then slowly start to bend one leg at a time coming back and from here you have the space behind you can start to roll a little bit maybe from one from forward backwards allowing yourself to come down rolling a little bit allowing yourself to be a little bit clumsy as well a little bit playful just as that innocent child that lives into your heart and then slowly stop on the back keeping your hands that are grabbing your toes and we're gonna naturally move into the happy baby pose uh, so we're just gonna keep with our legs bended with our knees that are going towards the mat and maybe feeling the need to swing a little bit from one side to the other while everything is expanding make sure that your lower back is able to stay anchored on the floor on the mat until then maybe feel like stopping to the center and connect again with your breath coming back to yourself taking a big inhale and a deep exhale and slowly release the legs first bending them releasing the toes and then helping yourself with the hands longening the left leg keeping your right knee next to you and here while we're gonna move to the end part of the of the practice we're gonna take a little moment to release so interlace your fingers over your right knee bringing it to the chest while you inhale and feeling this massage within yourself maybe within the organs while you exhale again feeling this lung lengthening while you inhale your left foot is kind of like moving and trying to reach forward while your right knee is getting towards your heart and then exhale one more deep breath in here and as you exhale bring your left knee down next to the left one and while you inhale bring your left knee to your chest hugging it with your with your hands interlaced over it and again feel like you're reaching for something really precious or maybe like trying to ticklish someone with your right feet while you at the same time press into the left knee bringing it to the chest so inhale into the into this half hug relaxing a little bit more through the exhale inhale and exhale one last time inhale with me and exhale letting go slowly of the knee letting it lengthening next to the right one and here before completely relaxing to shavasana we're just gonna take one more fun moment in which we're just gonna extend 
our arms over our head, our feet that again are kind of like trying to tickle someone over there. And then maybe allow yourself to roll a little bit on the green grass of your heart, on the green field of your heart, just a little bit with this movement that is also stimulating all the fascia, all within, all the muscles, all the tissues, and then allow yourself to land back to the center, finding back your adult shape, <laughs> and slowly prepare yourself to enter into the last position, into Shavasana. So open your legs wide, wider than your mat maybe, extend your arms far away from your body, your head is resting on the floor, your eyes are closing, and your breath is starting to guide you, moving the attention inwards. Feel all the points of the body that are touching the floor and that are anchoring you into this present moment. And just listen to the sound of your breath, to the music of your breath dancing at the rhythm of your heartbeat. And then slowly bring yourself on the right side of your body, bringing your right arm under your head, your left palm on the ground in front of you. And staying here for one more breath. And then on the next inhale, push down into the palm that is touching the floor, helping you raise up and getting into a seated position, into a comfortable seated position. And here, I invite you to bring your hands together to your chest, and by pressing into your pinky fingers and your thumbs together, allow your palms to open, creating the Padma Mudra, the lotus flower, just at the high level of your heart, keeping your eyes closed and imagining a golden ray a golden rain that is shining and flickering right in the center of your heart, bringing nourishment, bringing care and joy to 
to that endless alive flower so special so beautiful and we're gonna end chanting to this flower and its dance the Bija Mantra Om together. Gonna first take a big inhale and a big exhale to release. And now in order to chant, inhale with me. together in Namaste. Thank you. Namaste.